But I ain't want to be no bitch, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just, honestly, I just took it. It wasn't nothing that I couldn't take. So, you know, I just I just let her ride out. Literally, ride and glide all over my boob with that shit that she had. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't... You know the vibes. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back. I think this camera is cricket. Hold on. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period, you guys. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update of my doctor's visit, which was yesterday, and the news that I got from my doctor with the whole discovery with my left boob or whatever like that. Before we get into this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, comment your love, your feedback, your questions down below in the comment section, you guys. Let me get some pink hearts in the comment section. Please make sure you are following me on social media, you guys, and share my content. Make sure you put the links in my description. So, just a little FYI real quick for your information. Just want to tell you a little something, something about me that you may not know. When I was a little girl, when I was littler, you remember to say that? When I was littler, I want to say like when I was in elementary and even before then, I used to pretend that I was teaching a class. Like, I don't know where I got certain teacher books from. I think, you know, older cousins had held on to like their old school books. I did have a cousin who was a teacher and maybe she had some old school books, but I would literally teach a class. Sometimes it was nothing on the floor, nothing around me. And some other times I would go get paper plates and write names on them. Like the people that was in my class, write their name on them. Like remember names, make up names, write the names on the plates and like place them on the floor as if I had a real classroom and I would teach a class. I never really wanted to be a teacher for real in life, but when I was littler, I just, I don't know, I just, I just felt like a teacher. And I say all of that to say because we're about to have like a little class session right now, which freaks me the fuck out because this is like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm really doing this because I used to do this, but now I'm doing this like for a real crowd. Of people and um I ain't gonna say my family used to make fun of me but my uncle for sure because he likes to make fun of everything of the past it's like he cannot get over the past it's like no matter how much or how many new memories we make in the future he always reflects back to the past I don't know what it is but uh, I had this one classmate she was actually my best friend white girl her name was Brianna so Brianna was like my teacher's pet in my class, you know, and I guess, I don't know. I think I used, I think I was like a, a time in my life when I was little when I just used Brianna for everything. Like she was my classmate, she was my, my ghost friend. Like I would literally have a ghost friend. I would say, Brianna is here with me. Like don't talk to Brianna like that. I would talk like that. Call me crazy if you want to, but I had to have an imagination of my own when you just growing up in your own little world. But anywho, you guys, so back to the main point of this video. I went to a radiology diagnostic exam yesterday at the, it's crazy because I'm, you know, I'm driving to the address and I did not know that I was going to the hospital. Okay, I didn't know the hospital had its own breast cancer office building. I didn't know that. So yeah, I'm like, oh shit, this is, this is serious. <laughs> I think it's been like a month now since I knew about the appointment that, that was coming up. So you know, I would have my days where I would like forget, have good days, don't worry, don't stress, be relaxed. And then I would have my days when it's was like, oh shit, it's coming up. Let me check on it, let me feel on it, let me feel it, is it growing, how does it feel? Then there'll be times when it was like, oh shit, why am I feeling this discomfortness in my chest? And I was like, oh yeah, that's what that is. So, you know, I've, I've literally like, it's like been a roller coaster with my emotions with like how I've just been feeling overall in general about, you know, the my appointment coming up and just about the whole situation, blah, blah, blah. My dad had went to my very first appointment um, with me, which is the appointment that I had went to that I was gonna take you guys on, but I was like, mm. 
let me not. So my dad went to that very first appointment with me and at that appointment is where it was really quick like literally i think my appointment's at 8 15 i was out of there by like 8 40 seriously maybe 8 35 8 30 honestly um it didn't take long at all she literally came in you know told me to put on the gown that i needed to put on when i did she came in the room you know she felt around she definitely felt what she felt and and what i felt and she was like you know off the gate she does not think that this is, you know, cancerous, but it definitely needs to be looked at like deeper, like ultrasound, looked at, like look at your tissue type thing and really see what that is and the actual size versus us, you know, just feeling and trying to imagine and guess. So this appointment was actually, and she said they were gonna do one or two tests. One of them, I cannot remember what she said. The other one was an ultrasound. So. When I got there, you know, I had to do paperwork, had to pay $169 on top of the $50 I had to pay. It don't even matter. So, you know, I did my paperwork and then I got called to the back and I had to put on another gown. And um, <clears throat> we went into this room and it was like trying to like set the mood type of room. Like the lights were dim. It was like a, a table that I just never laid on before. And, um, yeah, it was this machine beside the table that I just, I, I've never seen before. So, you know, the lady is humming and talking all sweet. And she making me nervous. Like, she she honestly is making me nervous, but not any more nervous than what I already felt. Like, I was already just feeling uneasy, had a headache from the day, from the time that I had woke up that morning. Because it was just like, it just has not been sunny on this side of town lately you know what i mean so you know just 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 really going through the, the feelings and emotions of just feeling sick and uneasy and whoo jesus um so yeah she basically was like you know she's gonna put this gel on my boob put the gel on the little thingy that she had to use for the ultrasound and she was like, you know, she was gonna apply some pressure, but if I felt like she was hurting me to say something, and she was like, basically, you know, she's gonna be, you know, moving it around and taking any pictures that she needs to take so that she can send it to the doctor so that then the doctor can look at the pictures and then come back and talk to me about the picture. I ain't gonna lie, she was putting some pressure. And she was, she told me, you know, if, if it does hurt me, that's not her intention. Her intention was not to hurt me. So, you know, I was feeling a little, too much pressure sometimes. But I ain't wanna be no bitch, you know what I'm saying? So I, I just, honestly, I just took it. It wasn't nothing that I couldn't take. So, you know, I just I just let her ride out. Literally ride and glide all over my boob with that shit that she had. And I'm trying to look at the machine and I can't see shit, but I'm trying to see shit and I don't see shit. But she doing a whole lot of clicking and snapping and zooming and I'm just like, yo. And then she changing it from black and white to, I seen blues and greens and, and, and reds. And I'm just like, girl, explain what the fuck is going on. So then the doctor came back in, you know, she was talking really fast, but she let me know basically what it was in my chest. This long ass fucking word basically it's a fibro that's in my breast it's short for fibro okay and talking about it with my dad you know some women get these things in their uterus which causes them to not be able to have baby i gotta go back in six months just so they can keep an eye on it it's kind of like a two-year watch thing like they want to keep their eye on it for two years so yeah, I gotta go in six months just to make sure that it's not, you know, growing, <clears throat> it's not causing, it's not causing like extreme discomfort. Cause like I say, I get random dis discomforts. I feel like I get discomfort when I'm like stressed out. I feel like I get discomfort, you know, sometimes if I, I don't know, I never really like tried, I never was able to really catch when I get the discomfort. It just be random as hell. like. I can literally go from a slouching position and then like to an upright position. It's almost like a, you know, like a pop. Like you don't hear it, but I feel it. So it's just different situations or different things that just causes the discomfort. So I, they just want to keep an eye on it from six months. 
when I go in six months, if you know if everything stays the same, then they're gonna then see me in a year. Um, I don't want to have to get surgery. Um, but it's something that I just want to monitor on my own and take my own little like mental notes about it because again if it's something that does cause me discomfort yes no it's not cancerous but you know as i read <laughs> these lumps may grow and i just don't want to like keep it there and then it'd be like you know five years seven years down the line it's like oh shit now it's growing and it's kind of like maybe it would have never grew if i would have just took that shit out so this is a lot of and just because it's in my breast like i know um i've been told by someone who has like who's went through a similar situation as me but it's located not in their breast it's located somewhere else and they never got it removed because they didn't want the surgery my shit is in my breast and i just i don't i don't like that like if that shit was in my ass my throat my neck you know somewhere else i'd be like you know what all right i just got a little i just got a little situation going on but that shit is in my breast i don't i don't really i don't really like that and the fact that you know it's just the fact that it can't grow i don't like that neither so this is what we're gonna do i am going to draw you a picture of what it looks like show you where it is this is my boob well my shit really to be honest my shit is like perfect because it don't really and my shit not even that big i don't even know why i'm capping this is my boob Doop. <laughs> okay and this is the left Veins and shit, blah, 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 right? Blue veins, red veins, we got all kind of veins in our boobs. First of all, my boob is lumpy. So I just, I'ma just do this because this is for the lumpy boob that I have. I don't know why I have lumpy small little boobs, but I do. Okay, now this thing that's, this fibro, this is my left boob. So over here would be, yes, my right boob. You can't even see that, but over there, over there, on that side, on this, this way, that way, this way. That would be my right boob. So the thing is, it's here it's like it's like on the side you know it's, it's in this area so it's like here and if it's like a jelly bean to be honest it's no bigger than a jelly bean is what it feels like but that is where it is and that is my boo the lumps the veins the nip the fibro that is what's going on. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I just wanna also say, I really appreciate those who have been praying for me, you know, friends and family. Um, I'm not even gonna say what I wanna say because at the end of the day, it don't even matter, to be honest. I really can't hold certain things over people's head. When everybody got their own life, you know what I mean? And I'm just, I'm really, it, the most important thing, I'm just very thankful and grateful that it's not cancerous. It's benign, it's not cancerous. And you know, that's what I'm most thankful and appreciative of and blessed to be have, I mean, blessed to have been given that news, right? So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, a like, all that good shit, you know what I mean? Be safe, stay clean. Whole lot of gay shit going on over here. You know, you know the vibes. I'm just, um, I'm just drained. I'm just, I'm just really drained. And I do apologize for, you know, not uploading as I 
should be doing as I want to be doing. There's a few things going on, right? I really want to do these reaction videos because I got this green screen, haven't even used it yet. But this is the thing with my laptop. My laptop, the speaker is kind of just like, it's low key, like, it sound muffled. And I'm thinking about taking this bitch to the, like, people that fix shit to see if they can fix the speaker in my laptop um, versus me buying a whole new laptop. Because when I be doing my edits, the shit is bananas. I just know that if I can hear it, then I know when it's playing back in my reaction video that you guys can hear it. So I just don't want to put out no low quality as reaction video with a whole lot of great vibes and a whole lot of energy going on and it, the shit just don't mesh and just don't match so and then you know with this channel just gotta be patient with me because i really don't have like a whole lot of different kind of content to give you guys you know the cooking videos are good um it's not a whole lot of stuff that i got going on over here but working you guys and um you know I got Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm, I'm a different breed. It. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch.